Hello everyone, this is Jopke again and today I'm working on a piece of cardboard very thick cardboard, very light in weight that came with, I believe it was my um, stove, my cook cooking stove uh, when it came, uh, when it was delivered, it was packed in a lot of these pieces of cardboard. Um, so I decided to save them uh, because uh, they could be nice to work on for mixed media pieces. And that's what I'm doing right now. I took a piece and I gessoed it and um, now I've uh, sprayed it with some homemade acrylic sprays that I made, uh, a buttermilk kind of color and a bright yellow one. Uh, I did, I believe, two coats of gesso on the surface because it soaked up a lot of the, the paint, a lot of the moisture. Um, and then I went on with the, with the acrylic sprays. Here I am collaging. I took out a couple of things that I thought could work on this piece. Uh, some magazine uh, pieces, some uh, pieces I used to cut out circles, um, pieces, uh, book text from old magazines, old newspaper and old books. Also uh, from magazine, some uh, pieces with big letters like the yellow with the big black letters. I thought uh, could look nice so I'm gluing down some bits and pieces using my art medium of shirning for this and um, at this point I really thought I had an idea of where this was going uh, and during the process of creating this um, cardboard mixed media piece I stick to it for quite a long time and in the end I uh, got to change it completely and um, uh, it was totally different uh, than what I thought it would be. Um, but here I'm still carrying on, I've glued down a lot of uh, uh, collage pieces and I took out the heavy gesso and I'm uh, trying to blend it all in so it becomes one uh, background instead of all these glued down pieces. I do that with my fingers and also with a palette knife. And once that is dry, I take out the black acrylic spray paint that I made once and I'm spraying some uh, of the ink uh, mostly around the edges and then um, using the water to make it run. Um, while I am doing this, my mind is going on and uh, thinking about the next step and what I would do and what I should do. And um, here I decided uh, for one reason or another that um, I want to even it more out. I want wanted to even the background more out so I took out the heavy gesso again and I and the palette knife and my fingers and added a lot more of the white gesso. Um, so the collage pieces that I glued down a few of them are uh, disappeared. Um, I'm bringing some back with a baby wipe and uh, wiping away the, the paint. But, uh, and then again, I'm using the acrylic spray paint, the black one, uh, to add more shadows, and more drop, more uh, of a grungy look. And it mix, mixes a bit with the gesso that I put on, but that was okay, really liked the effect of that. So the next step was adding some text, some stamps, and this is one of Indigo Blue, a very tiny script stamp, a dinky they call it, and I'm adding some text in the middle of the, the cardboard. 
So here, um, kind of my idea of where I was going still stands, but um, it. Meanwhile, my mind is racing a hundred miles an hour, and I'm not sure where to go. Um, here I have my own paper dolls. Uh, this is really family. I had this really old photo. I believe the little girl of this photo was my grandmother and uh, with her sister, I think. And I cut it out and printed it uh, with the inkjet printer. So I'm using my lip balm to uh, coat it, to seal it, so the, the, the ink of the printer will not move. And so I wanted to do something with this photo. Uh, I wasn't sure how to do that. I had these um, images from Tim Holtz, these uh, ephemera uh, bits and pieces of Tim Holtz. I wanted to use those. Um, also the photo, still thinking about the photo at this point. Um, so I'm working on that um, inking the edges of all the pieces that I wanted to glue down with the uh, archival ink, so it, it got a bit grungy and the edges were a bit vintage, uh, kind of. So doing that, and then I'm gluing it all down with the glue stick, still want to use the photo at this point. Now, um, in the end, I'm not using the photo. I worked around the photo for the whole time, really wanted to use that, and now I'm looking back at this, I think I maybe should have used the photo, but, well, you know, I, I still have it, and I can use it in another project, so that's another worry at all. Um, and I have more of these cardboard uh, pieces of the package material, um, so I can use the photo another time, but at one point during the process of this mixed media uh, 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 project, I kind of lost the idea where I was going and at one point I just didn't know anymore. Uh, here I'm adding more of the yellow because I did like the combination of that, the, the yellow, the black, the white, I really love that. Um, here I am taking out some watercolor pencils, I'm taking out some um, Faber-Castell artist pit pens, also taking out some neo colors to uh, shadow the edges of all the pieces that I put down. Uh, this, by the way, is going to count as my 100 things number three, because I only used stuff that I already had in my stash and uh, mostly, of course, the cardboard, the package uh, material that I had. So I have a big stash of that. So I decided on using uh, that up and all the materials that I used in this project are also things that I already had in my stash. So this is going to count as the number three of the 100 Things Challenge, which is set by uh, Rebecca of Dances with Pitbulls. And um, you make a hundred things uh, with uh, using up the stash you have. So you are not allowed to buy new stuff. Well, you are allowed to do that, but you can't use them on these challenges and you only use stuff that you already had. So, and I did, I used the package material. I used the uh, homemade acrylic spray paints uh, that I wanted to use up. Um, so I used a lot of stuff that I already had in my stash. So here, still thinking about that, that photo that image of my uh, family, my grandmother with her sister, and still not sure what to do. So I wait with that to, I, I'm not sticking it down yet because I'm not sure. Uh, then I decided to not use the photo and do something with the tree. Um, so I, um, 
I, I could have cut out all these uh, bits and pieces of me trying stuff, but I wanted to show you uh, sometimes you have an idea and it all goes completely a different direction while you are creating. And that was the case with this mixed media piece on cardboard. And so I left it all in so you can see for yourself the, the, the decisions uh, that are made and uh, your thought process during uh, such a piece sometimes goes um, in all directions. So here I am gluing down a piece of napkin on this cutout of a tree. Then I decided, well, that's a lot of work to cut that out. So, hmm not going to do that probably then I decide to uh, paint it black and um, glue that down on my mixed media piece but I'm not going to do that as well uh, also have this cut out of a bird and I painted that black as well with the black gesso gesso of Dina Wakely and by the way, these were cutouts I got in Happy Mail uh, at one time, so I want to use those up as well. And also the tree went away, didn't want to use the tree, and I got back to some magazine collage stuff with book text. I really liked the black with the yellow for my uh, piece, so I decided I added more of the book text and um, the bird. So adding some uh, white splatters to the uh, bird with a, a white acrylic paint and then I'm going to glue it down. The next thing I decide to because I didn't I, I really thought it needed something more was making some circles. And I ended up making three circles, a large one and two smaller ones onto this mixed media piece. And I painted it with white. Uh, I did that for all three of them. Then I uh, scribbled down some circles with a black um, needle bottle with black acrylic paint on it. Also used some thread and on top of that uh, a yellow piece of uh, scrapbook paper uh, in a circle shape uh, did go on top of that so um, i hope you have enjoyed watching this video see me struggle with all kinds of things i uh, just wanted to show you that uh, don't give up keep on going and something nice will appear uh, maybe the the photo would have worked better, but hey, I can always use it again uh, in another project. I have a big stash of these cardboard uh, package materials, so I can um, try and make another mixed media piece with the photo of my grandmother and her sister. So, um, Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I will leave you a link to the channel of Rebecca. Uh, she made some vlogs and some uh, videos of uh, the projects she has done for the 100 things. So um, ch please check that out and I hope I see you again next time. Uh, it will be a couple of day days though because I am going away for a very short vacation uh, next week uh, so probably probably will be the end of next week that I will come with a new video so hope you uh, have enjoyed um, stay tuned uh, have a great day and see you again next time bye bye